Hi, um, my name is Rachel Laird and I've taught a few times in the past for Central Scotland Ballet School and I used to actually go as a student myself back in the day and yeah they've asked me to film a few um, yoga classes just really short little ones for you to follow at home so yeah we'll um, see how it goes and just take it for yourself with yoga um, it's all about if you need to stop at any point you can stop and just to kind of listen to what I'm saying and the guidance that I'm giving and to follow along to that hopefully the music isn't too loud and you can hear what I'm saying and yeah we'll get we'll just get started so if you could find a mat or like a big enough space to fit a mat um, if you don't have a mat you can also have a towel or you can just do it on the floor it's up to you it's very open and under these circumstances everything as much as you can um, do is perfect and it's great. Okay, so we're going to get ourselves onto a mat, a towel or a space. And we're going to start with just our feet under us, about hip distance apart if we can. And I invite you to bring your hands together and put them onto your chest. We're going to push our hands together into each other and roll our shoulders back. Nice. Bring them to your heart center and we're going to close our eyes and we're just going to breathe. So we're going to breathe in and out and in and out. You can close your eyes, do that if you don't feel comfortable to do it, keep them open. And we're trying to just, with this breathing, release any bad thoughts or tension or stress around this time as I know many of us are going through it's um it's difficult but we'll we'll get there together so do from our breaths in and out try do this through just the nose in and out okay we're gonna let the hands just drop to our sides and we're going to find, just move around your feet on the spot, finding the different points of balance. If you're on your heels, if you're on your toes, the sides of the feet, the insides of the feet. And we're just going to rock around in a circle. And the other way. If you want to keep your eyes closed, please do. If this makes you feel a bit dizzy, you can open them. And find a neutral place between all of those points to find where you're standing. Nice. Okay, and we're going to breathe in again, but I want us to lift up our shoulders. And when we breathe out, we're going to make a large sound of relief and just drop the shoulders. You're probably going to be at home on your own, so no one's going to hear you or see you. So we'll bend our knees and bring our shoulders up. And out, again, one more time, nice, and now I invite us to come towards the front of our mat, I'll stay side on so you can see what's going on, and we're going to do a similar breathing thing but bringing our arms up and to our chest, so if you just follow what I'm saying, it should make sense, if you need to at any point look up and see what I'm doing, Feel free to do that as well. So we're going to breathe in, bring our arms all the way up. And then to our chest. Breathe in, arms back up. And by the side. We'll do that again, bend your knees all the way up. To your chest, breathe out. Breathe up to the ceiling. Breathe out by our side. One more time, breathe up, chest, breathe in and up, and this time when you breathe out and drop your arms, going to roll our head and roll the way down, nice, and when you get to the bottom you can have your knees bent, you can have your legs straight, it's up to you, and you're just going to shake your head, no, nod your head, yes, 
No. Yes, just to release the strain and tension in the neck. Do you want to be holding anything here? Oh, and the shoulders, maybe give them a few rolls back. A few rolls forward. Nice. We're going to place the hands on the floor and try and straighten our legs as much as we can. Drop the head. Bend and stretch. Bend and stretch. Keep breathing. Bend and stretch. Nice. We're going to bend all the way down to a crouch. And if you can come up, and if I, if, I'm just going to turn to face the camera. If you can come up, and we'll just roll our wrists. And then the other way, which always feels a little bit a little bit weird. And we'll take the right hand, or left hand, depending on what you want. And put, push down the fingers, and we're going to open up. So like we're stretching out. Nice. Your breaths. Make sure your shoulders are in your back and not up by your ears. And we'll switch arms. And we'll just push forward and curve the back. If at any point you need to put the knees down, you can do that as well. And let go. Shake your arms out. Nice. Okay. We'll go back to the mat. And we're just gonna. From your kind of squatted position, we're going to just put some weight into the arms and push back. Into the arms, push back. Arms, push back. We're waking up the biceps here. Nice. And we're going to walk our knees a little bit back and we're going to come to a tabletop position. So you just want your knees under your hips and your hands under your shoulders. It's like a direct line. And we'll untuck the toes, and just from here, we're just gonna rock around. Nice circular motion. Just warming up the hips and the shoulders. Nice. And we'll go the opposite direction. Nice. And then we're gonna do a little cat cow stretch. So um, we're gonna curve first. You wanna curve the tail first, push it into the back, drop the head and look down. You can tuck the chin in as well. You're trying to make as big a curve as you can, like an angry cat is how we sometimes call it. So you're gonna curve, push down, and you're pushing into your hands as well as your knees to give that resistance. You want to go the opposite way to do the happy cat. You're going to release the tailbone into the shoulders and you're going to look up to the ceiling to so do the opposite of what you just did. You want this nice curved position and to relax the shoulders. So we're going to breathe through them both. So back to the angry cat. breathing and we'll go through them a few times in your own timing. And again. And back through. Nice. Keep going one more time. Angry. to a neutral spine back on our tabletop and we're going to push back to our bum on our heels and just do child's pose. This is the position that you can come back to at any point in the video. If you're feeling um, the next part of class is a bit too much or a bit too um, difficult or you just need a rest at any point or even throughout this times that we're at home isolating um, this is a really great position to come to and just have some nice deep breaths here so we're going to put our heads onto the mat and we're going to take some nice deep breaths and we're trying to get our bum as close to our heels as possible and stretch our arms as far away from us as possible 
drop the head down and we'll take some deep breaths, breathing in and out. And in and out and in and out. Nice, and when you're ready, you're gonna walk the hands back to roll up, to sit on your heels, and roll the shoulders back into our backs. Nice. And then we're gonna do our first walk out to plank. And so if we're ready, we'll walk out. We're gonna get into a nice high plank. Nice. My head's cut off a little bit, but I'm sure you can see what's going on. And then we're gonna drop the knees, and we're gonna push down so that we land our chest on the ground and grab the, the elbows nice and close to us. Nice. And then we're going to push up to a cobra so you can keep your arms on the mat and just push up halfway. Try not to have the shoulders really high. We want to keep the shoulders nice and down. And lower back to the mat. Put the hands back into the ground. Push up to all fours. And then we're going to push back into our first downward dog of the day. Nice. If you need to walk through the feet, if you want to wiggle the hips a bit, if you need to just shake the legs out or keep them bent, or if you're ready to go fully into straight, it's up to you. We want to push the tailbone nice and high, the heels into the ground and the shoulders back. We don't want to be splaying. The ribs don't want to come out. The ribs want to stay nice and tucked in. Nice. And then from here, we're going to come up onto our tippy toes and we're going to do, we're going to walk towards our hands. And bend our feet and straighten over. Here we're going to come to a halfway lift. I'll just step back so you can see. So we're going to come to a halfway lift where we're going to put our hands either on our shins or our thighs and lift up, keeping the shoulders back to a flat back and drop down. Bend your knees and roll all the way up, bringing your arms all the way to the ceiling, down to your chest. All the way up. I'm going to do that again. Just hit my light. All the way down and halfway lift, shins or thighs, nice flat back, all the way down. And this time we're going to step or jump into your high plank. And you can either do knees down all the way down or a chaturanga. You can come to up dog or cobra. And we're going to push back into our downward dog. And we're going to stay here and take a few breaths. step jump or walk in, bend over, halfway lift and down and we're going to roll all the way up with the arms back to your chest and we'll do that again a bit faster, up, down, halfway lift, down, step jump into your high plank, either chaturanga or knees down, Push up to upward dog or cobra and back to downward dog. And now we're in the downward dog, we're going to lift our right leg up, keeping it parallel. Take a few steps forward. Keep it parallel. Don't want to have your hips open. I'm going to keep it parallel. And then you're going to bring the knee in to your chest in a high plank. Push it out to plank back. Bring it in to the elbow. Push it back. Bring it in to the left elbow this time, so the opposite elbow. Push it back. And then one more time, but towards the head. And push it back. Bring that foot down. Step jump or walk in. 
over, halfway lift, back over, then all the way up. We'll do it again on the other side. Hands to the chest, all the way up, over, down, step or jump, chaturanga, push up. Again, take the speed as you want. You can go fast or you can go slow. We'll all meet in downward dog. Okay? And our left leg, straight. We don't want to open the hips. We're going to splay them. We want to keep them parallel. Flex the foot. Nice. Bring it in to the chest. Push it back. To the left elbow. Push it back. To the right elbow. Push it back. And finally to the head, push it back, drop the foot down, step jump or walk in, lean over, halfway lift, and then lean back over it, and this time we're gonna go into chair pose. It's gonna bend the knees and come up to a chair pose. Almost like you're sitting in this kind of um like Z shape. Bring the hands to the chest. And you're gonna put your, we're gonna do a nice little twist to the right side for your breaths. Back to the center. I want you to stick your butt out nice. You don't wanna be curved, you wanna stick it out. Other side. Back to the center. Arms behind you, like you're flying. Arms back in front of you. Bring it down. And now we're just gonna bend all the way to the squat. Put our butts down. And we're gonna bring them up to a boat pose very quickly. With the hands facing the ceiling. If you want them bent, if you want them straight, up to you. Nice. Foot. We're going to roll slowly down to the mat and lie with your legs open, arms out, palms facing the ceiling and I invite you to just breathe here. Close your eyes and breathe. You're going to analyse the body, where the body's been, what you've just done in this time. You're going to see how the toes feel, the ankles feel. The shins, the calves, the knees. How do your thighs feel? How do your hips feel? Does your pelvis feel nice and heavy into the ground? Do you feel a little bit more open than maybe you did before? How is the spine feeling? The ribs nice and heavy into the ground. Shoulder blades sinking into the mat or the ground or the towel. Your arms nice and heavy, shoulders open, head. I just invite you to close your eyes. Stay where you are, close your eyes and just breathe. And I invite you to stay there how long, as long as you like. Um, that is the end of class. Um, I'll be filming a few more videos, hopefully. Let us know what you think, if you enjoyed it, if you'd like something a bit more, we can do whatever people feel that they want or need um, can take suggestions and recommendations and yeah if you want to stay on the mat keep your eyes shut I'd recommend maybe staying there for five minutes um, just to relax after moving so much and that hard work that you all just did thank you for coming watching participating and we should all just stay as healthy as we can during this time and safe and look after each other and communicate so yeah thank you